You're treating your back and me, huh? Why? Is it because of you? That trick drove you to betray me? <laughs> God's sake, Melody. How many times do I have to tell you that it didn't do such a thing? Why would you believe me? Oh, come on, Louis. If you didn't, why did you run away? And why do you act so guilty, hmm? I ran away because you left me with no choice. You were so angry. You were screaming at me. And you even attempted to slap me. You know more than anyone else how I despise people who use violence to resolve things, man. To do. You will shamelessly flap your hands towards my face. Louis, wait! clothes and masks, which make them look dazzling. They are dancing the night away into the present room, without knowing the chaos that is about to happen. See? I told you! Look around you! Impossible! How can this happen? I don't know, but one thing is for sure. That might happen. What? Something For the Nato and I were both members of a very old and important Italian family. We used to play together when we were children. For the Nato was bigger, richer, and more handsome than I was. And he enjoyed making me look like a fool. He hurt my feelings a thousand times during the years of my childhood. I never showed my anger, however, so he thought that we were good friends. But I promised myself that one day, I would punish Fortunato for his insults to me. Many years have passed. Fortunato married a rich and beautiful woman who gave him sons. Deep in my heart, I hated him, but I never showed anger or did anything else show him how I felt. When I smiled at him, he thought it was because the, that we were good friends. He did not know that my smile was the thought of his death that made me smile. His ventured and Schultz must be punished with impunity. It was about dusk when an evening during the carnival seasons that I happened to meet my friend Fortunato. He was beautiful in a silk suit of many colors. On his head, he wore a red coat, covered with little silver bells. I could see that he had been drinking too much wine. I was so pleased to see him, that I thought I should wring his hand. He had a weak point, this sports in Nato. Though in other regards, he was a man to be respected and even feared. He prided himself on his connoisseurship of wine. I continued as I smiled at him. He did not perceive that my smile now was the thought of his death. What's that? Who was? <laughs> I want some I 
know what goes down to you. Why don't you go find me some class? My friend, Fulinata, we finally met! I suppose, my dear Marosan, how good to see you this evening. My friend, my dear Fulinata, I'm afraid I have been very stupid. A man who sells me a bottle of wine said that he has a month the other wine. I believe him, and I bought it from him. But now I'm not sure if the wine is really in a Montiado. A Montiado? You, a cast, impossible, an individual particle. I have said I have my doubts. And I was so serious enough to pay the full price of a Montiado without consulting you in that matter. Couldn't find you. And I was so afraid that you would sell the barrel to someone else. So I bought it. Me as well. A Montiado? Oh, Montiado! You're wine, handsome. Oh, thank you, thank you. dear. Actually, I've been looking for a piece of friend. He was able to tell me if the wine is really a Montiado. Who gets you? Can I tell a Montiado? Sherry. But some people say that he is as a good judge of you as oh, a Montiado. Come on. Still both? My friend, no. I will not impose upon your good nature. I can see that you have an engagement. I have no engagement. No, it is not about the engagement. The wine is in my wine cellar underneath the palace. The room there are dark, dumps, and the water drips from the walls. Let us go, nevertheless. The cold is nearly nothing. I want to have it. You have been imposed upon. And as we look at you. Distinguished among the other Attendants were at home. Servants enjoyed the carnival. I had told them that I should not return until the morning, and had given them explicit orders not to steer from the house. I very well knew that these orders were sufficient to ensure the immediate disappearance of my dog as soon as I burp. You see here what I hear? Kids! It's strange how we can hear the three guys that used to be. Yeah, I'm not sure, Dad. And it seems he's probably something pretty. Do right! The girl is here! Where? We need to find the black bird. Let's go! Before going in there, there must be some sort of torch hidden in here. Here it is! You know what? It's not a torch, it's a lamp. Oh, sorry, but since we already have a light, come on, let's go. It is farther on. <coughs> How long have you had that cough? It is nothing. Come, let us go back. Your help is important. You are rich, respected, admired, loved. You have a wife and a family. Many people will miss you if you die. Come, we will return before it's too late, and I cannot be responsible. Besides, there is always Lucasi. Yes! 
The cause is really nothing. <coughs> it will not kill me. <laughs> <laughs> true, true indeed. And I had no intentions of alarming you unnecessarily. But first, we must use all proper cautions. Oh. Here, drop of this medoc will help us defend from the dumps. Drink! <laughs> I drink to the buried that repose her on us. Die to your long life. <laughs> now the amount the other. <laughs> These walls are extensive. The Montresors were a great and humorous family. Hmm? Uh -huh. A huge human foot door in a field azure. A serpent trumpet whose fangs embedded in the hill. And the motto Nimomei impuni nasisem. No one attacks me with impunity. Good, good. <laughs> now the Amontillado. I don't even know these people, nor the things they're talking about. Fine. Didn't you read the Walter story? I only read love stories. Or perhaps this is their love story and. Are they in LQ? Gosh, Louis! What again, Melody? It's the case of Amontillado. No, it's the story about friendship and betrayal. What we see right now is the exact scene that was written in that story. Okay, Miss, I know everything. But why must we witness this? I don't know. That's why we need to find that girl again. She's so hard to find. Earlier, she was just following these two men, but now she's nowhere to be found. She vanished. Maybe the story needs to end first. No, the award. The nighter! See? It increases. It hangs like moss upon these vaults. We are below the river's bed. The moisture trickles to the bone. Come, let us go back. It is nothing. Let us go. But first, another draught of tomato. Here. You do not comprehend. I don't. Then you are not of the Masons. Oh. Not of the Masons? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The Masons! Impossible. A Mason. A Mason. A sign. This is a Mason. <laughs> <laughs> you just. <laughs> now do you want to, Yado? Be it so. They keep on talking about that Amontillado. What is that? It's a wine. Ooh, you drank it before? Why? I am not allowed to know about it. Let's just go. They already disappeared and we need to follow them. There, I hid the castle from Monteado in that room. As for Lucchesi, he is an ignoramus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Pass your hand over it all. You can help feeling the night. Indeed, it is very down. Once more, I told you to return. No, <laughs> I must positively leave you. But first, I must render you all of my intention to my brother. Diamantiado! True! Diamantiado!
A very good joke it is. <laughs> that is an excellent jest, Montresor. <laughs> we will have many rich love about it, Papalazzo. <laughs> Over our wine! <laughs> Yes, the Amontillado! <laughs> Brother of a sauce, yes, not terribly witty. <laughs> All the lights went out. And no wine? Not really funny. Is it not getting late, Montresor? Is there any light here? Everyone are waiting for me at the palazzo. The Lady Fortunato and the rest. Let us be gone. Yes! Let us. For the love of God, Montresor! Yes! For the love of God! <gasps> the heck, Mel? What did just happen? Wow! Now you're using nicknames? Shut up and just turn on the lamp. Alright, hurry up! Right, right. Someone's here. Ah, visitors in my world. Who are you? We look familiar. Yes, I am who penned these words. May I ask, what brings you here? We had a disagreement and we somewhat ended up here. Ah, yes. The intricate weave of human emotions. The threads of my tales have entwined you within its narrative. But fear not, for there is a lesson to be gleaned. You! It's you! You are the reason why we are here! You're the one who dropped the book! Father, I let them in! She's your daughter? Ha! Huh, what a twist! Next, I might be your long-lost sister! Will you please shut up for once, Louis? And you! Why did you bring us here? You both need to understand the essence of friendship and trust. She perceives beyond the words on these pages. Friendship and trust, the essence of human connections, is a lesson transcending my tales. So this was all to teach us something. I guess we found ourselves inside a lesson rather than a story. A simple misunderstanding can lead to terrible incidents, just like what happened to Montresor and Fortunato. Communication is a key to solving an argument. And that's what the two of them forgot. They forgot about the importance of communication. We let the fire die on its own, but sadly, it didn't. It only went stronger. They let it spread like wildfire, which ultimately caught to the both of them. Burning the precious friendship they once had. That's why, no matter how big your arguments are, always find the time to talk about it. Do not let it sit like muddy water on a glass, which appears clear, but when you touch it, it will turn turbid. Remember, like the turning of pages, friendships enter through the chapters of life. And a true friend stays no matter what page in life you are in. Thank you for this unexpected journey. Indeed, what treasure is last for life. What lesson could it be this time?
three action. Did you see that? Sam, Sam, Sam. Go. Okay. Go. Louis, wait. Go, go, go. Louis, wait. Go. Louis, wait. Go. Okay. Hello, ka o. Open ang book. What? Hello, o. Isang mga backup then, backup actors. Oh, nito tayo ng camera. Justin, Justin. Stop it. Go. Father, I let them in. <laughs> so, thank you for this unexpected dream. In the what treasure did What? Go. Simple misunderstanding can lead to terrible incidents. Just like what happened to me. Here you go.